Hey, hey, everybody, I hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion, and today we're gonna take a look at productive and allocative efficiency in the market structure of monopolistic competition. The key point is here is you need to understand how to show them based on whatever profit level these firms might be operating in, whether that be abnormal profit, losses, or normal profit. All right, let's take a look. All right, my friends, check it. It's the base diagram again. It's the base diagram again. Why this diagram? Because it's your friend. This is the diagram that enables you to be calm about all of the diagrams you face in theory of the firm because this diagram is the number one diagram you need to know. And in fact, if you understand this diagram and you just understand how um, what it means, you'll be able to easily, easily show profit levels of loss, abnormal profit or profit, and then therefore glean the productive and allocative efficiency. So what's this diagram? Well, I'll run through it again very quickly as I have in all of these diagrams, or all of these diagrams, <laughs> all of these videos, right? You have a, hor a vertical axis of price and cost with the currency. You have zero at the origin. You have a horizontal, out horizontal um, axis for output. You have then, you know this is monopolistic competition and they face a downward sloping demand curve. So you draw your demand curve like this where D equals average revenue. If you don't know why that is, go back and check out earlier videos as to why. Then you have a marginal revenue curve that descends at twice the rate of average revenue. If you don't know that relationship, go back and check out in cost, revenue, and profit why that is the case. Then you come back and you draw one cost curve, the marginal cost curve, the all-telling cost curve, the cost curve that shows you and points you in the direction of almost every critical point in all of these diagrams. Then, what's the critical point it shows you? It shows you the profit maximizing level of output, the quantity that this firm in monopolistic competition, if it produces this quantity, it has the highest chances of, of having profits. It doesn't mean that it actually will. You take that quantity up to the demand curve, then over to P, and there you have it, my friend. You have the base diagram. It is from this diagram. It's the same diagram in Monopoly for all levels of profit. It's how you show productive and allocative efficiency in Monopoly. It's the same diagram for all of the profit levels in monopolistic competition, and it's also, which is why I do it on this video, how you show allocative and productive efficiency in monopolistic competition. All right, so here's the base diagram. Now check it. From this base diagram, which is over here, right, we have the ability to then show abnormal profit. So let's say that the IB question says, hey, show short run abnormal profit in the market structure of monopolistic competition. You draw this diagram, then you back off it and you go, okay, cool. So, well, abnormal profit, that's easy. All I have to do then is draw a curve, an average cost curve that bottoms out on the marginal cost curve, right? That crosses over this quantity level below price because at any point between marginal cost, be between this intersect, and price, I'm going to have abnormal profits. How do I know that? Because, dude, like if you're selling pizzas here and this is our $5 to make a pizza and we're selling it for eight, then we're making abnormal profits, okay? So that's what Jocelyn Blink did over here in her excellent, excellent course companion is she drew an average cost curve in the short run for monopolistic competition. And from this point, what do we have? We have a profit maximizing quantity where MR equals MC. For some reason, she changed the colors of her curve, but they're the same curve. So marginal revenue is here. I go up like this, and now here's where we break even. This is where all of our costs are covered, and this firm would be experiencing in monopolistic competition abnormal profits. Great. That is the profit maximizing level of output where MC equals MR. Productively efficient or productive efficiency happens where marginal cost equals average cost. Why is that? Because at this point right here where the marginal cost curve, I told you the marginal cost curve is going to tell you everything you need to know. The marginal cost curve where it meets average cost is the lowest possible cost per unit that this firm can operate in. And that's Q1, my friend. And so productive efficiency for a firm is always where it operates when its marginal cost equal its average cost. And that always happens at the lowest point of the average cost curve. And therefore, this is the price, this is the quantity, rather, where this firm would 
uh, most would work with product, productively efficient. <laughs> Whoa, let me say that again. This is the quantity where they would be the most productive, the most efficient in terms of producing goods at the lowest average cost per unit, okay? Sweet. Then, what about allocative efficiency? Well, allocative efficiency is always where marginal cost. Hey, there it is again. Equals average revenue, which is also the demand curve. So where is that? Follow your marginal cost curve. That is the profit maximizing output. That is the productive maximizing, that's productive efficiency. And there it is. Look it. Hey, check it. That's where MC equals AR. Okay? So this quantity would be the allocative efficient point. Allocative efficiency is the point at which if the firm produced this quantity of output, the most that would be the best for society, most allocatively efficient um, level of output for society. Okay, why is that? Well, if you take any of these curves up, um, any of these quantities up, you will see that this intercept of allocative efficiency it, with demand is a lower price level than both the productively efficient point, if drawn up there, and, of course, the profit maximizing. Okay, so in the short run, if a monopolistic, comp monopolistically competitive market, no, a firm operating in a monopolistic competition market showing abnormal profit will have, will produce at profit maximization and will not be productively efficient, nor will it be allocatively efficient. That's what you'll be asked on the IB. All right, now let's take a look at the short run, but a different profit scenario. Let's say that in the short run, our firm is running a loss, is operating at a loss. How would we show pro profit maximizing, productive efficiency, and allocative efficiency? Well, guess what, my friend? It's the same exact intercepts. Of course it is, but the quantities are going to be different, okay? So you do the base diagram, ba 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 okay, boom. Then what do you do? Well, you need to show a loss. Okay, so you show the average cost curve bottoming out on your marginal cost curve, um, above so that uh, the average cost curve intercepts with this profit maximizing point, which is where MC equals MR, above price. So if, if this is the price of pizza, eight bucks, and we're producing it for 10, we're going to show a loss of $2 per piece. Okay, that's great. That is the profit maximizing level of output for a firm in a loss. What about productively efficient? Where would that be? The same place, but it's going to be a different quantity. It's always where marginal cost equals average cost. Okay, follow my marginal cost curve up. Where do I find average cost? Hey, it's out there now. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> you still have this quantity right here. This is where this firm would be productively efficient, where MC equals AC right there. Well, what about allocatively efficient? Well, where MC equals AR or the demand curve. Is that always true? Always true. Regardless of loss, abnormal profit? Yes, always. So where would that happen? Oh, check it. Follow, follow, marginal cost till it gets to average revenue, which is also the demand curve. And check it. It's the same place as in a uh, abnormal profit scenario because it's always where MC equals AR or demand. And there you have it, Q2, okay? So these are the scenarios for a firm who's operating in monopolistic competition in the short run showing losses. This is how you would draw it. All right, now what about the long run? Well, if you watched the previous video in this series, you know that in the long run, right, firms in monopolistic competition will show normal profits. And so you draw your base diagram, bam, 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 bam. In the long run equilibrium, you're going to have um, normal profits, which is where your average cost curve just barely touches this price point right there. Make sure it bottoms out on the marginal cost curve there. And this right here is your point of what? Of profit maximizing output. Check it. There it is. That's pretty cool. Yes, it is. That's pretty cool. Okay. Then what? Well, then what we need to do is show where it is, and this time we're going to draw it, where is it are, that we are productively efficient? Well, that is where MC equals AC. Ah, oh, check it. That is right there at that output level. What's that? Well, this output level right here, we'll call it Q2, is where this would be productively efficient, where MC equals AC. 
Well, what about allocative efficiency? Well, that's always the same place, my friends. That is always where MC equals AR at a quantity level right there. Okay? So in the long run, even though you have uh, firms making normal profits, right, their allocatively efficient, allocative efficiency and productive efficiency are still always going to be where MC equals AC. And so where, it is, where is productive efficiency here? MC equaling AC, MC, AC right there. Oh, okay, that quantity, call that Q2. Allocative efficiency, MC equals AR. Where's that? MC, AR. Oh, boom, that's right there. Okay, we'll call that Q3. Now, there. That is as clean and crisp and cool a way of showing allocative and productive efficiency for firms operating in monopolistic competition, both in the short run with abnormal profits, the short run with a loss, and in the long run with normal profits. All right, my friends, check it. Once you get this model in your head, once you understand that base diagram, pretty much no matter what situation you get, you're going to use the same diagram and just apply the logic to it. All right, my friends, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Be kind to someone today. Take care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you in a bit.